Hi Capricorn, welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot or welcome back if you're returning. Thank you so much you guys. If you are, happy birthday Capricorn. This is January after all. I mean, I know there were some December Capricorn birthdays too. I'm so sorry I missed you guys. Thanks so much to my returning viewers and subscribers for hanging in there with me last month. I am so sorry I could not get a reading out for you guys. It's the first time that's ever happened since the beginning, but I just couldn't make it happen, guys. I'm sorry I, I haven't learned the spell to create time yet, <laughs> um, but it's just I had way too much uh, life going on last month that I, I just could not get it done, so... I apologize, and I'm back here. Hopefully, everybody had nice holidays, and uh, we're taking a look here and seeing what's going on, okay? If you're new, thanks so much for stopping by. I'm glad you found the channel. Hope the reading resonates. If it doesn't, be sure to check out your other placements before checking out. You might find something there that does, and if it does resonate and you want to book a private reading with me, you can find my email address in the description box below the video. You'll also there find the link to my Patreon page where I'll be uploading an extension to this reading. You can get access to all my video Zodiac reading extensions for just $3.33 over there. So keep that in mind. Thank you so much to my existing patrons. I love you all. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. And we are ready to roll here, Cap. What's going on? I, you know what I see? I see here's I see two different scenarios. I see some of you guys that have a friendship that is evolving and deepening into something more, a relationship, a romantic relationship. And then I also see a romantic relationship that maybe wasn't, you know, might have been more sexually based or something or just wasn't all that deep. And now it's deepening into a friendship as well. So beautiful vibes all around. I think you're getting to know this person. Um, we'll just start, start with the cards here. We've got the romance angels saying, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, so this is someone I do feel like you already know. However, I feel like, I mean, we get to know people all life long. I mean, honestly, you get to know yourself your entire life long. So if you don't even know yourself fully, how can you know somebody else fully? So it's a lifelong process getting to know someone, but right now this this relationship, friendship, connection is in a deepening phase. It's definitely in a new phase. I mean, we see that right here. The Phoenix card's coming out. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. The Phoenix. So something might have actually ended already in this connection and then now is being reborn with the Phoenix. I say that. It doesn't have to be, but I'm just saying... Interestingly enough, we do have, with the Phoenix, we have the butterfly coming out as well. Some of you guys could be dealing with Scorpio. Very Scorpionic energy here. Relationship evolving, okay? New phase. Relationship evolving to the new phase. So we have new phase here twice on two different cards. So this connection is definitely evolving. Also healing the inner child and growth. Growth is on both one, both of these cards too. So it's really beautiful. I think this is really nice. This friendship is leading to more. But like I said, I still read that as also it could be... A, a relationship that was, I mean, romantic, but I mean, basically more sexual or just kind of light and more based on fun and stuff that's now deepening into something more. Okay. And you're getting to know each other. And as you do, boundaries are needed. Okay. So I feel like also Capricorn, as you do get to know this person, you may be feeling a little bit, um, I don't know, nervous about whether or not it can actually work or evolve or whatever because you may be as you get to know each other some differences between you are being revealed and you're not sure if they're right the right person for you okay but spirit says to keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so there are differences between you. This person may have some interesting habits or friends or whatever that maybe make you kind of second guess uh, whether it can work or not. But Spirit says, hang in there, okay? We do have acceptance showing up as uh, a lesson that you're learning on your journey with this person. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So maybe you're learning that you can't change people, okay? And that you're learning to accept differences, or you may have tried to change a situation or this situation and have just finally loosened your grip and are kind of letting spirit take the wheel now. Okay, that certainly could be. We do have interesting with the boundaries card coming up. We have the black tourmaline spirit coming up, which is also about boundaries as well. I'm going to read to you uh, what the book says about this card in a minute. This is... Well, it's my largest piece of black tourmaline. I love this stone. It is so helpful. I'm an empath, so this is a great stone for empaths or anybody that's sensitive to energy, okay? 
Um, it is a cleansing stone and a, and a deflection. It deflects. It's a number one because it's a 10. I want to tell you, you guys, um, well, I'll tell you in a minute. I want to read to you what Black Tourmaline Spirit has to say for you guys first. Okay. Let's just see here. The first thing it says, healthy boundaries is the essential meaning. Repelling and dispelling unwanted energies, shielding and protection, healthy interdependence. So here's the relationship message, guys. It's natural to yearn for that one special someone to be everything you need. But even if you're matched with your soulmate, the two of you require some time away from each other now and again to truly appreciate how much you enjoy being together. An afternoon with friends or working on a pro project solo can recharge your batteries. If you don't want to be apart from the one you love, be sure that it's not because you're afraid of being alone. The conscious universe wants you to be yourself and relaxed in your relationship, for you deserve the gift of a love that is fulfilling and nurturing. Black tourmaline is an incredibly valuable stone for sensitives, empaths, and anyone susceptible to absorbing the energy of others. When carried or worn on the body, it works industriously to capture incoming energy that is less than desirable and transmute it into usable energy. When used in meditation, it helps work through old stuff from a neutral perspective, allowing us to keep the wheat while discarding the chaff. Okay, so... You know, I mean, there just may be some things that you have to release, uh, some differences, some, you know, you have like kind of, I'm getting like a pick your battles. Like there may be some things about this person that you were hoping you could change or wanting to change or hoping would change. And now you're accepting they may never change and like coming to terms with that. Can you accept it? Trying to decide if it's something that you can accept long term, right? Spirit wants you to trust in the magic and trust in their magic, the spirit's magic, to make this happen. Literally, uh, the universe is conspiring on your behalf right now and wanting you to pay attention, okay? You're being sent synchronicities and signs. Uh, you may have asked for a sign. It's coming. If you want a sign, ask for it because spirit's sending them to you. You may or may not be actually seeing them, though. Spirit wants you to pay attention, okay? White Raven Spirit is a beautiful card. I love that card. All right, so... In the overall energy of this connection, moving on to your main spread, is strength, okay? That is Leo energy. You could be dealing with Leo. It is also the energy for me. It's it's twin flame type of energy. So if that resonates for you, you know, you can take it. But if not, then discard it. But this is said to be the empress. And then this lion is said to be like the ego of the emperor, basically. Um, so the empress is taming that, all right? So there could be a taming going on or, you know something like that, or you could be taming yourself. Somebody's holding back, and it's likely both of you holding back at this time, because I see a lot of thinking going on. You guys are evaluating, okay? You're evaluating while you get to know each other. You're both probably sizing each other up, seeing if you, you know, thinking about whether or not, you know, you really think this could actually work, and that's part of the process. I'm feeling like cocoon energy with this butterfly. It's evolving, but it's not there yet. The relationship is in some sort of a protective cocoon right now, it seems like, okay? So you're feeling kind of stuck. You know, the hanged man is how you feel right now. Like <clears throat> you may have uh, your perspective about this person or the way you view this person may be changing as you get to know them more. Okay. And you're, you know, kind of hanging out and, you know, wanting things to progress, but wondering at the same time. And like, you know, you're needing a change of perspective as well. Spirit says here, you're stuck for a reason, Cap. Okay. Because there's something that you do need to see or that your person needs to see. Um, or something that needs, maybe there's an astrological event that has to actually happen to like, be like a starting, like, a like a, a go, like passing go kind of thing, you know, uh, where this can actually truly get off the ground or the cocoon when the butterfly comes out of the cocoon, right? Right now it's in the cocoon. Okay. And you're just kind of hanging out waiting, right? <laughs> So, but at the same time, you know, you do feel a little bit stuck. Um, you're doing a lot of thinking, trying to look at things from every angle. I mean, I really feel like you're sizing this person up, right? With the hangman. You're really trying to make sure that you're seeing everything clearly so that you know what you're getting yourself into, right? Your person is also thinking, all right, the eight of swords, they're stuck also. <laughs> both of these cards, you're both stuck, okay, um, in thought. You know, just like trapped in thought. And there's emotion in there. I mean, there is water even in this card. Okay. And of course, the hanged man is Pisces energy. So it could be dealing with Pisces, by the way. Um, but yeah, there's some water. And so you guys are just really kind of 
I don't know. I just heard drowning. Well, I'm going to say, I just heard drowning in your emotions and your thoughts right now. It feels like it, maybe. In the past, it seems like somebody might have been a little bit too closed to mouth about their feelings. They weren't very expressive. But the thing is, is those feelings are certainly there. The King of Cups is full of love. Full. Overflowing. Like, but not overflowing. Because he's got that cup closed. Like, it's not closed where he doesn't feel it. It's closed where he doesn't express it very well. Okay, or just you're kind of on a need to know basis with this King of Cups character. Okay, so somebody might not have been being expressing uh, their love, but a strong love foundation has been laid, I feel. Also, side note, this could be an external party uh, that kind of set the foundation or whatever, whatever situation this connection is in now, this other person could have actually got the ball rolling or in some one way or shape or another. Could have been in the way in some way and could have just, it laid the foundation somehow. Another person may have laid the foundation. That person could have been a Scorpio. We have heavy Scorpio energy there. Um, or it could have been any water sign or any sign really. But I'm feeling like this might be your person uh, who, um, you might be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? Or someone with strong Scorpio, 8th house, or Pluto energies. Please keep in mind that whenever I say, I don't know about other readers, but whenever I say Scorpio or Capricorn or any of the signs, that can extend to someone who may not have any Scorpio in their chart, but they could have everything in their 8th house. Or they could have Pluto aspecting everything in their chart or something like that. So that's still going to be heavy Scorpio energy, okay? Um... Or it could be that there's, you know, Scorpio energy that's um, that's aspecting the chart of this connection or something like that. Something Scorpionic is going on. No matter what, there's some Scorpio energy here, big time, with the Phoenix and the Butterfly and King of Cups is here as well. I just, I'm getting it, okay? So right now, what's blocking forward movement in this connection or keeping it from going at Capricorn's pace, well, is, well, the divine, guys. I'm sorry, but the Wheel of Fortune is here in the reverse. You're just going to have to be patient. I know everyone hates to hear that, but this is just not completely able to come to, completely together yet, okay? It's in the cocoon. You can't rush a butterfly, Capricorn. You cannot rush a caterpillar when it is changing into a butterfly, Okay, so if your person is going through some sort of transformation, you've got to let it happen. You just have to let it happen. Be supportive, whatever you can do. Uh, set boundaries if they still have, if they're transforming from like a, a negative behavior or something, you know, set your boundaries, you know, but keep an open mind, okay? Um, it could be you that's undergoing a transformation. Um, and it just could be the connection or it could just be that you're waiting on an astrological aspect. We're reading for Capricorn. I'm not going to, I'm going to, or I am going to go out on a limb and say, you could be waiting for the full moon in Capricorn. Okay. Now that's if you're watching this in 2022, when I'm doing it in January, this is a timeless reading. So in 10 years, it'll be really cool if there's a full moon in cancer around the corner. <laughs> I wonder if you watch this in 10 years, but, um, Anyway, uh, yeah, there is a full moon in Cancer, I believe, on the 17th of January. And, of course, Cancer opposes Capricorn. So it's an axis, right? So you could be waiting for that full moon in Cancer or any other sign. I mean, Venus is in retrograde right now. That's another thing. Venus is in retrograde right now, okay? This is a time to do just what you're doing. Review, okay? Review, assess. We're assessing, right? It's Venus retrograde. And Mercury is about to go to retrograde, too, on the 14th. So this wheel is in the reverse for now but it's going to turn upright i feel it all right so divine timing you're waiting on it sorry <laughs> your person's most likely next move is the empress so that's libra energy all right or taurus okay which taurus trines capricorn that's good news all right um libra unfortunately squares but either way it's venus energy okay um so i just told you that venus is in retrograde well this is you know if your person's planning to do this they may come to you and tell you how fabulous they think you are. Remember in the past, the King of Cups feels, doesn't express too much. This person may come to you like, I, I just saw somebody literally like, <laughs> I know this is ridiculous and this is not going to happen. If it does for somebody, please comment. But I just saw somebody like at your feet, Capricorn. Okay, like at your feet telling you, professing their love for you. Okay, male or female, it does not matter, all right? The empress, we all have the emperor and the empress energy in us, okay? But your person wants to let you know how special they think you are. They may want you to be the mother of their children or to be the mother of your children if you guys are of childbearing age. They 
uh, just want, they want to grow this. They want to nurture this connection for sure. Nurture you, Capricorn. Okay. Um, you're being advised in your advice, the King of Wands. You may be being advised to take some action here, Capricorn. We're going to have to get clarifiers to confirm because the King of Wands, well, he takes action. He doesn't sit around and look at his wand. He uses it. <laughs> All right. Um, he is a go-getter and confident. So you could just be being advised to stay confident and ready to act. Ready to act. Okay. Could be advising you also that this King of Wands is coming your way, possibly to tell you. The King of Cups, I just got this. Okay, the King of Cups may be evolving into a King of Wands. Like, still, you know, like to where he actually takes action to speak his emotion. Okay, and I say he, but it could be a she. Absolutely, okay? Um, but, uh, yeah, this person is coming forward to tell you how important you are to them. Like, you're everything. Like, the Empress, oh my gosh, you're the bee's knees. Like, this is amazing energy for your person to be bringing your way. They want you to know how amazing they think you are and how much they want to grow this connection, okay? So your outcome, Capricorn, it looks good. We're going to clarify in a minute, but we have the three of cups. If you are currently, like, in a disagreement or something with this person on the outs, you're going to reconcile. I see that with the three of cups, but either way, I see a lot of fun. If you're not um, on the outs with this person, this friendship is a fun one. I mean, you guys are going out, having a good time. I don't know if any of you are, you know, if you do drink, whatever that, you know, that's fine. You could be doing that, but you don't have to. Those cups could hold coffee in it if you're not a drinker. Okay. I'm just saying that you guys, you know, are enjoying each other. You're having a really good time together this month in the outcome, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify and see what else we can find out for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, and or Venus, please, spirits. Please clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out, two by two for Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. I'm using my new Mystical Cats Tarot deck gifted to me by my twin, who also gifted me this amazing amethyst over here that I'm in love with. Please clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out, two by two, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. And their person of interest, please. And with two cards, please clarify the overall energy for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. And their person of interest, please. Thank you. All right, if you're new, you'll see that I use my pendulum to determine the direction of the cards. I don't just take the reversals as they come out. Upright or reverse are, first of all, spirit of the top 14 cards, the correct cards to accurately clarify the ones that are already laid out here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Are the two cards at the bottom of the deck the overall energy? Upright or reverse, the chariot. Ooh, I just thought of something. Upright or reverse, the six of C. So, Capricorn, you are definitely dealing with a soulmate situation, possibly past life soulmate. Um, and you might be dealing with a cancer, by the way. Remember, didn't I say, or or this could be timing uh, for that cancer new moon or cancer full moon that I mentioned. This is the chariot. So the energy of this connection is that it's overcoming obstacles and moving forward, but that you guys are both still also kind of holding back at the same time. It's like, you know, almost chomping at the bit I get wanting to move forward. And it is almost full speed ahead, but not quite. I feel like the horses or the dogs in this in this uh, case on this chariot are being, you know, they're being put in their, their, I don't know horse stuff, but they're put in, they're being put into their bridles and their, their saddles they are being saddled up. That's what I was looking for. The horses are being saddled up, even though you're in a chariot. But um, anyway, the six of C is the six of cups. That is an energy of reconciliation. It's an energy of missing someone. So you may, and the, the chariot could be distant. So you guys may be se like separated, even if it's not like on, you're on the outs, you could live from far from each other or something. And there's something separating you. You're missing each other. Um, 
but also, you know, kind of holding back, trying to control. I'm getting somebody's trying to control the tempo here with the uh, strength and the chariot, control the speed of the forward movement. But either way, it's very sweet with the six of C here, the six of cups, and uh, definitely dealing with a soulmate, okay? All right, let's see how you're feeling. You're kind of stuck trying to see things from every angle, upright or reverse the two of fire. Yeah, you're at the crossroads. This connection's at the crossroads. You feel like it's time to decide one way or the other what direction this connection is going. Upright or reverse the three of fire. Interesting. So we have the two and the three in uh, order. And so that's a progression. So your feelings are, I mean, you're progressing, you know, but you are just trying to decide. You're trying to see the future. I mean, obviously you're watching a tarot reading, right? But yeah, you're just, you're, you know, the three of fires, the three of wands, which I don't see on the table here, but in the traditional tarot, it's the man, you know, staring off into the harbor. The, the ships are, you know, in there, he can see the, the people joke and say it's the relationship meant in a love reading that's coming in. You can see it's there, it's coming, but it's not quite there yet. So you're kind of waiting. The three of fire is an energy of waiting. The two of fire is an energy of decision making, being at the crossroads, but it's like you're waiting to pick a path. You're waiting to see something to know what direction you're going in. Okay, so there's definitely a level of uncertainty here on your part about this connection and its forward movement. But uh, you are definitely, you know, you do want to expand with this person, though. And, and I feel that you do miss them. The two and three of wands are associated with missing someone that lives at a distance from you. So I feel like. I'm getting strong distance vibes from this reading. Okay. Damn it. I was just going to say something and I totally forgot what it was now. And it, I think it was important too, but I guess it will come back to me if that's the case. All right. So your person, wait, was it the three of wands? No, I can't remember. Anyway, your person is also stuck in eight of swords. Oh, I know what it was now. Okay. So it was about the three. Okay, Capricorn, White Raven Spirit is here to tell you that you need to be paying attention to the signs and synchronicities, okay, and trust the magic. It's number 66, which is, is a, ma a master number right there because it's 66, but 6 plus 6 is 12, which is a 3, okay? So we have a 3 there, and then we have a 3. No, what I saw was we have 1s, 3s, and eights mostly here. You have the strength card is an eight and you have the eight of swords, okay? The empress is a three and then we have the three of cups in your outcome. And then we have, there was something else, hold on. Oh, the hanged man is a 12, which is also a number three, okay? So you have a three, three, three. Now you have another three. So there's a lot of threes. Okay, so be paying attention to those synchronicities. Threes are about growth, expansion, learning, thinking. Okay, I said you guys are doing a lot of thinking about each other. So it's very much there, the three energy. And I don't feel third party energy. I don't mean three like third party. Okay. All right, upright or reverse the tower. Eee, your, person is, your person is afraid. Your person is afraid that this is going to fall apart. Upright or reverse, the sky, or the sea king. Oh, the sea king. Yeah, they're not telling you, but they are afraid that this is going to fall apart. They're trying to avoid a disaster. The tower is in reverse here. So, and they, and if it's already fallen apart, they want to rebuild because they love you. Okay, but they can't stop thinking about it. And I feel like they're nervous that things are going to fall apart. Okay. Uh, they're trying to avoid a disaster, but they definitely do love you. This is how they feel about you. The sea king is no slouch. Like I said, very much a full cup of love for you. Just probably hasn't told you. I'm not saying they've never said they love you, but they probably haven't told you just how much. Okay. So that's why I said maybe they're, and they're coming here with the empress. Maybe they're going to tell you just how important you are to them. Okay. Because they want to avoid a disaster. In the past, the King of Cups, somebody too close-lipped, or it could have been another person, upright or reverse, the Five of C. Yeah, a lot of disappointment. I feel like this King of Cups regrets and regretted not telling you how much they care. 
Upright or reverse the sea queen? Are you kidding? Wow. So a very strong love has been established, okay? But I don't know. If you're on the side, I, I think actually either way, even if you were already sexual with this person and now it's deepening into a friendship, you might not have told each other how much you really care. Like you might not have actually said the L word yet. If you are in the same thing, if you're a friendship that's evolving into a, a, a romantic um, relationship, you may not have told each other the extent of your feelings or this person hasn't. Maybe you're waiting for them. I don't know. But all I know is that there's a lot of love here, dude. Okay, we have the king and queen together. By the way, that means soulmate right there, divine counterpart. And we actually have it coming from the same deck, the sea queen and the sing sea king. Okay, so that's like, I mean, out of an eight card or 14 card pull, um, both of them came up with the, within with only one card separating them too. They were super close. So there's been a lot of disappointment in this connection in the past for whatever reason. If it's some thinking you were finally going to say something or they were going to finally, you know, tell you and they didn't or whatever, uh there's regrets, there's disappointment. It's just not good uh in the past. And I think it was probably because there was a lot of love that wasn't being spoken or shown or whatever. It's just dis was disappointment. So, right now, divine timing is holding you guys up, upright or reverse, the two of earth. Yeah, the divine is giving you time to really, really think about this, guys. I'm just telling you. Upright or reverse, the ten of earth. Ooh. Also, some of you guys, side note, some of you guys might be very busy with your finances right now. The timing might, be, might not be right because you're having some sort of uh, financial situation that you're dealing with or you're working on something or building towards uh, something. Uh, the Ten of Earth is here. But for the most part, I'm getting, you know, we have the hangman here in your feelings, which is you're divinely stuck. You're meant to be stuck so that you can be thinking about things. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the blockage with the Two of Pentacles. That's again, that's weighing the pros and cons. That's like, you know, really trying to decide whether or not. And we see you with the Two of Wands there. You're being given the time to make a decision that you, you know, in the timing, you're being given the time, whether you want this to be over this, this, you know, back and forth, or you're ready to get the show on the road. Really, you think you're ready, but maybe you're not because the universe is giving you the time so that you can continue to get to know this person, continue to weigh the pros and the cons. Can we really make this work? We're so different, this, that, and the other, whatever. Can we make a long-term partnership work? Okay, so it's giving you time to decide and to really, you know, balance, also balance. This is about balance as well. The situation may need some balancing in order to move forward into something very long-term. The Ten of Earth is, is, you know, that's till death do us part energy, guys. That's, uh, that is um, ride or die. That's building a relationship, a legacy that you can leave behind. Remember I said about children, that's also, you know, family and building a family. So, you know, you guys are sizing each other up, trying to decide if this really can work, you know? Um... Your person's most likely next move, the Empress. Upright or reverse, strength. Oh, it's in reverse. So let's see, upright or reverse, the Five of Sky. I feel like this person, you know, if you guys have been... On the outs, okay? Now, not all of you are necessarily in an actual fight with this person, but the Five of Sky is here. That's the Five of Swords. So there could have been a tit-for-tat kind of energy going on, but it doesn't have to be mean-spirited. It can just be, I mean, even uh, the Five of Swords can even be like, like, think of the beginning of a relationship or whatever, when people, uh, well, it's their turn to text me, so I'm going to restrain myself from texting them for the millionth time so I can give them a chance to text me or see if they even think about me and text me or whatever. It's like it's being strategic and trying to win and a little bit of manipulation here in the upright. In the reverse, it's you know, not caring so much anymore, laying down your sword, not playing those games. It's a very game-playing energy in the upright. This person is coming forward. They don't want to play games. 
Okay, they want to resolve whatever issues you guys have between you. If they were feeling proud or having too much pride before and holding, if their pride was holding them back with strength, which is Leo energy, it's not going to be a factor anymore. Their, their ego, remember what I said about the Empress too on this strength card, the Empress taming the ego. Okay, so maybe this person, because with the getting to know each other and the boundaries and everything, the boundaries makes me think this person, as you get to know them, they may have some traits that are less than desirable. But that doesn't mean that's all of them, and it doesn't mean it's nothing that they can't overcome. They just need to outgrow it or be shown. Maybe they didn't know that they were doing a certain behavior. We have no power over anything that we're not conscious of, okay? Maybe no one ever told them they were, you know, this way or whatever, you know, whatever way, okay? And now you're telling them, okay? But either way, they want, they're going to be, I feel... Whatever strength they have that's keeping them or making them hold back from telling you, they're losing that. They're losing their, their power. They're losing their strength, like as far as their will to, to do whatever it was that they were doing that was holding this relationship up. Like they want to tell you. They want to tell you how important you are to them. Okay. And they're getting over their pride and their ego, very egoic card, the five of uh, swords, okay? It's in reverse, with the strength in reverse, which can also be ego, ego and pride, right? So this person wants to swallow their pride, I feel, and I mean, definitely, with the strength in reverse and the five of sky in reverse, that's someone swallowing their pride and coming back to reconcile something with you, okay? So it doesn't have to be like you're in complete separation with this person, maybe you just had a disagreement or something, Um or you couldn't agree on a certain issue and now they're going to they're going to go ahead and soften up and compromise with you or whatever. That's an energy of compromise also, you know. So let's see. You're being advised the king of wands, upright or reverse, the world. Yep, there's some unfinished business here with the world. Upright or reverse, the six of fire. There is such heavy, strong Leo energy in this reading, Capricorn. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with Leo. There's also very strong Scorpio energy. I forgot to mention the tower is Scorpio energy. Um, and we already mentioned uh, the other Scorpio energies. But strength is here twice. That's Leo. Uh, the king of wands is Leo. The six of wands is Leo. So there's a lot of Leo energy here. But either way, there's unfinished business with this person, okay? This this is your advice, all right? Clean up your side of the street if there's anything to be cleaned up. Take action to do that, okay? If you want a victory here, you, you're you going to be getting the attention that you may have been wanting from this person, okay? They're coming back. It's not over. You're being advised it's definitely not over with the world in reverse, and you actually have a victory. You're perched for a victory here with the Six of Fire, okay? That's the Six of Wands. That is getting the attention that you deserve. Remember what I said already. Like, this person may not have told you, and they're coming forward to let you know that you are their freaking empress, okay? And that's going to make you feel on top of the world. You're going to finally, you know, be recognized publicly. Somehow they might do some some kind of public gesture, okay? But they're, I mean, because the King of Wands can be kind of flamboyant, like kind of, you know, he's very charismatic and can be, you know, really just, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, extravagant? I don't know. I'm just, you know, it's the King of Wands, all right? And they're coming and the Six of Wands is there. That's a victory for you. That's being recognized. You know, it is, it is one of the marriage cards, to be honest. Um, it can be. Okay. So let's see about this outcome. Keep in mind, guys, I will be getting more on how your person feels about you, more on what they're most likely to do next in regards to you, get you more advice with tarot and oracles, as well as hidden messages from your person with the hidden truth oracle and more on your outcome and the extended. If you want to follow me over there, the link is below, but let's see what we got here. The three of cups is in your outcome. Oh my God. The three of swords, upright or reverse. I should say the three of sky. Thankfully, it's in the reverse. So that means some of you guys really are on the outs with this person. You had some sort of falling out and you're coming back together to reconcile upright or reverse. The, <gasps> the ten of C. Upright or reverse, the ten of C. Thank you. All right, guys. I mean, the ten of cups is your freaking outcome. I don't know. It don't get any better than that. But it looks like you were in Three of Swords and 
you're healing that, okay? We did see healing coming through here, okay? This is, you know, energy of healing for sure, absolutely. These two cups and the cup cards in the upright are certainly healing, healing a relationship, whatever, uh, friendship, relationship. After a heartbreak of some sort, a hurt, there was a pain and ouch, I'm sorry. Uh, but listen, dude, you have the 10 of C, that's the 10 of cups, which means it's like a happily ever after card. Does that mean it's literally going to be forever? You're, this is your forever person? Maybe, maybe not. But either way, you're going to be emotionally elated this month, Capricorn, okay? I'm talking celebrations. I mean, it is your birthday, right? I'm talking reconciliations. I'm talking a reversal of that heartbreak and just pure emotional bliss is coming Capricorn's way, which is a great birthday present for those of you that are Capricorn. Corn Suns and just a great gift for anybody. All right, guys. So if you want to know more, follow me over to Patreon. The link's below. Otherwise, if this is where we part ways, thank you so much. I so appreciate each and every one of you. I pray blessings over each and every one of you. And I hope you have a beautiful month. Stay safe, healthy, and sane out there. And I'll check you back in another 30. Thanks. Bye.